Welcome to Retro Tour. We're continuing our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Randomized Entrance Insanity Retro. Today we search for the elusive Turtle Rock and take a crack at the Ice Palace. So I, I was going to go to the potion shop to get some more potions so that way I can actually, you know, beat Turtle Rock. But two things happened. One, I realized I still had the mushroom and I would actually popped out fairly close to this place, so I wanted to do that. And second, I'm not that far from Sora's domain, so I am going to permit myself to get a little sidetracked here to take care of both of those things. The other issue that I've got going on is I have no idea where, how I got to Turtle Rock. I, oh my goodness, that was, I, that, I did not mean to do that. Um, is there anything I can do? Uh, this isn't the waterfall you, no, waterfall you can go into. Okay. I'm not sure I want to do that, because it'll randomize me, and it might take me farther away from Zora. I need to keep focused. I need to get to Zora. I need to fork over a lot of cash, so that way he can give me, like, one or something ridiculous. Hey, there... Uh, no, 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 don't. Stop getting distracted. Do what you need to do. I keep on seeing entrances that I haven't gone in yet, and I'm like, ooh, let's try that out. No. Man, those knights are horrible. I don't like them. I didn't even like them in the normal version. What are those? What the... Oh, th those are those weird ectoplasm things from Dungeon 4. Weird. That's the Waterfall of Wishes, I think is what it's called. Something like that. Okay. Now, instead of Zoras, we have... Oh, Zoras. And those. Alright. Okay, well, that treasure is just a piece of heart. Which, I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world. Not exciting, but... Nice. Not thrilling, but nice. Come on. Alright, Zora. Let's... Okay, gouge me for whatever you're giving me. I paid 500 rupees for a key. You got a real racket going on there, don't you, Zora? You know how this randomizer thing works. Yep. Here comes another YouTuber. I mean, it's not the worst value I've ever seen him give me. I mean, I I have actually had him give me three bombs before. Um... But, I mean... <laughs> still, it's... It, it's just a key. And I mean, well, I, you know, again, it's not the worst thing in the world because I'm trying to take on Turtle, Turtle Rock and there are so many um, keys that are needed there. There we go. Okay. Now, this is Ganon's place. Ganon's place, or, the, the Tower of Ganon, is the Waterfall of Wishes. I need to remember this. There are chests in here. But I'm not sure I can do this place without a sword. Certainly not without any magic. I, I can't do this with no magic. Okay, the Lumberjack's place. I mean, I, at this point, I think I'm just going to go in random doors until I just end up on either Death Mountain or... Um... Until I end up on either Death Mountain or the, um, the, whatever the Dark World analog is. I didn't like overpaying that for that, but...
Hey, maybe we can get to Death Mountain this way. This is... Whoa! Dude! That guy's amazing! Is he always under there? I'm gonna have to remember that. Uh, yeah, sure. 100 rupees, one chest. Are you lucky? Yeah, let's play. Okay. Not bad. 200 rupee profit. Now, if memory serves, these... Those little, you know, treasure shops have been changed so that way the first pull you get is always, like, the rare treasure. It's not randomized. Uh, what do we got? Another shop. I need a blue potion. And the only place to get that in the game, besides those, you know, ladies that give them out to you, is the, uh, is the potion shop. Now, I th this is Aghanims, isn't it? This is. You know what? Let's take it on. We're doing it. Turtle Rock is on hiatus. Now. Come on. I hate these things. There we go. Okay. Now. This doesn't directly get me anything. The thing that it gets me is access to the Lumberjack's uh, tree. Now, usually that gets you a treasure, but in this, it's probably going to just... You know, all it gets me is... Falling down. Oh, wait! Oh... The keys are randomized. There could be stuff in here. Are you a... You might be a bow one. You're not a bow one. Okay, good. Yeah, some of those guys can only be killed by bows. Oh my gosh! There's a Lytle in here. Well... Nice of me and protected. This gets back up. That does not help. Let's see what's going on at least. Okay. Oh no! A bouncing skull. Yes! Five rupees. Exactly what I needed to help me defeat the Dark Wizard Aghanim. Sheesh, those guys have a lot of hit points. <laughs> Just had to damage boost through it, I guess. Five bucks. I mean, I need to check under these pots. I don't know if that's going to be something useful under these pots. I can't progress. I don't have any keys! I've already used the ones I bought from Zora for 500. I have to leave. I'm done here. How did I get in here? Oh, okay, well, now I'm on Death Mountain. So... Now, Potion Lady... was through here. 
Right? She was... This is the potion shop, right? Yes. <gasps> half magic! Oh, man, she did... She gave me half magic. And I'm sorry, as fun as the bee is, I... I can't justify it. I need to get rid of it. I need more magic. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. When I find Turtle Rock again, if I find Turtle Rock again, I am set. Remember, I found it while I was going this direction. Was there magic under here? Yes, there was. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Just what I needed. Man, those guys are all over the place now. Those bomb checking Cyclopses. Was it? Is it over here? Watch, this is the episode where, like, the entire time I try to find... What? What even was that? Okay, this is Sir Alshala's place. And he said that the Tower of Hera has the pot. Yeah, it has the curtain. Of Kirch. Oh, interesting thing. If you're not aware of it, you'll see that the right down there over in uh, the desert, there is a red crystal. Those red crystals are the crystals that you need in order to open, oh, the bomb shop. You know, get the, the big bomb out of it. So... Uh, here, let's take this over to this dude and see if he gives me anything interesting. So there's two of them. Usually it's dungeons five and six that you have to beat. With... So, yeah, like I said, usually you have to beat dungeons five and six. In this, however, it looks like one of them that I need to beat is level two light world. This is ice. Can I do ice? I, I mean, I really want to do Turtle Rock, but I can't remember where it is. <sighs> Let's try ice. It's kind of cool that the, uh, the background changed, so now it's... Oh, dear. Okay, well, you have a key? The background's changed, so... Yep, yes key. So it's obvious which ones pop out of the wall. Alright. There we go. Cool. Oh, neat. I'll take it. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. This is what this room is? Okay. I hate these cows! Ow. <laughs> Stop bothering me! There we go. Got him. Just need to take out you. There we go. The magic mirror! I can move Dark World Light World now. That's big. That's important. And also teleport out of dungeons when they need to. Not gonna I'm gonna try not to use that function if I can. Would you thank you? Oh, man. 
Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I told you I'm a potion miser. I don't like doing this. Uh, there we go. Uh, the button the whole time. I was like, am I supposed to kill everybody in the room? Because I'm pretty sure you can't kill those stone guys. Nothing. It was nothing this direction. I used a potion for nothing. Again, it's kind of neat to see enemies out of their usual habitat, if you will. I just tried to swing the sword at that. I guess this way I don't need to rush. Take this bouncing skull! Or, okay, or kick my butt, whichever. Okay, so usually the skeleton knights are in here. Instead, we've got this guy. Those guys. Ow. Cool. One of these guys has a key in them. <laughs> That's funny. Sideways moving one of those shadow crawler things. There we go. Okay. Man, you see a lot of those in this. Oh, weird. Come on. Welcome to the episode where I spend like 10 minutes trying to kill these stupid things. Okay. There was one left. Got him. Okay, nope, nothing. I killed all of them for nothing. <laughs> Instead of the little flaming spinning thing, we have one of these guys. Oh, I laugh as I fall off to my doom. There we go. Like I said, some places it, it makes it easier. It's kind of nice. Easy parts become hard, hard parts become... Tolerable. The dancer head vial. That guy's the only arrow, right? Yep, that's only arrows. Get me out of here. Um. Oh my gosh! A lot easier to hit these guys when the floor isn't moving. I gotcha. Oops. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Got ya. Again, I don't have a key, so I can't go that way. This way is... Uh, nothing? Ow. I'm getting my butt kicked by a green soldier. That's embarrassing. I mean, I do kind of feel it's ridiculous that, like, 
you know, how many episodes are we in now, and I still haven't beat a dungeon? In fact, I, it, it's hard to say that I've even seriously attempted one. 20 bucks. Ah! I mean, this is productive. I got the mirror out of this dungeon so far. That's good. It's good. Oh, man. I seem to remember those things being indestructible. But, it looks... Yeah, it's taking damage. Were those things always killable? Oh, right, the pots are randomized. No simple randomization for me. It has to be crazy. I guess this wouldn't be insanity if it wasn't. Okay. There we go. Well, that's a key. I don't think I need a key, do I? I need the... Literally, it's the last one I uncover. That's funny. I mean, it's a good thing, too, because I'm not sure I would have stuck around for the key. Okay. Run, 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 run. No! Go, go sleep. Uh... I don't want to use my blue potion. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, we're at least doing well on level five. We're, we're making progress. This is where I'm going to pick it up next time on level five. Dark World, let's see if we can finish it. Because we have all the tools, if I remember correctly, to beat it. So... We'll, we'll give that another try next time. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons. You know where they are. If you want to see other games I'm doing, go ahead and check them out here. Thanks for watching, everyone, and join us next time here on Retro Tools.